Hey folks, uh, uh, just a quick unboxing. I got uh, three of these amps and a uh, cabinet. Why did I get three of these amps even though I already have one weight right there? Well, uh, let me tell this story. <sighs> I just carried this stuff. I'm a little bit out of breath. Um, I... That was about a year and a half ago, something like this. I got a call from, not a call, I got a message from one of you guys that said, hey, there's this project that these Italians are doing. It's pretty damn cool. They're actually going and making an amp that can offer a lot of circuit combinations in, in, in analog. And it, it's, it's really cool. It's kind of like modeling, but not because it's pure analog. And I was like, yeah, pff, whatever. That can't be a good idea. So... I contacted them and they were like, hey, we, we come up there and, you know, do a video. I'm like, okay. So these Italians hopped on a plane, came up here with their prototypes. We made some videos and uh, from the first moment, I was holy flying crap impressed how good that uh, clones sounded. It looked a little bit, you know, DIY because that's what it was. So uh, their Kickstarter campaign kind of took off from there, but it never hit the goal. So... They were going to scrap it. And I said, no, we can't scrap that. Let's not do it DIY. So let's not do it in a way where you build it yourself. Let's actually make a really cool product with a company that I work with, which is Joyo. So I got them in touch with Joyo and Joyo loved the idea. And together they embarked on the journey to make the Clon Zamp a real product that everyone can just buy. Um, so... Uh, people flying back and forth to China, loads of emails, loads of meetings. Um, we met with my good friend Moritz. I was immediately going to say Moritz Schröder because that's a guitar player friend of mine. No, his name is not Moritz Schröder. <laughs> Stupid Moritz. Is. Moritz Stubig. Moritz Stubig. Stubig. That's very German. Uh, from Frankfurt. Uh, done loads of stuff with him, good guitar player too, and singer and songwriter. So he knows that world, but he doesn't know the world of amps well enough to design one that looks like every other one. So he had a cool idea, and um, we ran with it, and it, it was a really cool process of making this product, which was technically done, but now getting it ready for the market, making it look cool. Um, and we introduced it at Music China, where Kiana and I flew out there, and, uh, of course, that was difficult to demo from there. We actually got a good uh, uh, distribution deal or, or we ha we landed the deal we all wanted, which is getting it into freaking Toman. So Toman is carrying the Joyo amps. They already have the Band amps and the Beale Street and the Mjolnir. Now these are on the way to Toman, which means you can buy them there with their guaranteed money back something 30 day crap and service and whatever so this is really cool these can be purchased worldwide if you want to um definitely throughout europe from toman obviously we have distribution in um england as well so uh if you want to buy it directly from the distributor there or in a store in england just go to your store say hey i want this amp can you order it we have great distribution there we have distribution in um what's it called uh spain through Adagio, I think, Spain and Italy, they're handling that. But a lot of outlets uh, or a lot of places can be serviced through Toman. Anyway, that's all not really interesting. It's just telling you how you get one. So the app just hit the App Store today, which means you can go to the App Store, download the app. Without the amp, that's not going to do anything because this amp is purely analog. It doesn't make a peep without actually having the amp. There's no modeling involved. Of course, I've been asked many, many times, why well, you're so against the Kemper? What is different about this? That's just uh, copying circuits. Well, yes and no. Obviously, these circuits are not the 100% exact circuits that are in the original amps. They are very, very similar. So, yes, of course, they've been cloned or whatever you want to call it. My problem is not that. Um, any Tube Screamer is a clone of the Tube Screamer. And every rat is a clone of the rat. And every pedal is kind of a clone of a different pedal. And every amp, as many people have pointed out in my Kemper discussion, is a clone of some other... Um, amp. Uh, most of them are based on uh, Tweed or Twin or Bluesbreaker. Uh, I think most of them go back to the Bluesbreaker. My problem, obviously, not obviously, my problem is digital. If I put the money into this, that's my copy protection. Without this thing, I can't, I can't move these circuits around. 
And of course, if you really, 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 really want a twin, you're going to have to buy a fucking twin, okay? That's how you get the twin sound. If you want a deluxe reverb, that's how you get it. This will get you a lot of sounds, but very close to the original, not the original. It's one amp. It can't be everything. That's pretty much impossible. But uh, with the camper is... Go ahead, clone an amp, send it around digitally. This whole sharing digitally, sharing to everyone for free, because digital things we don't value. If it's digital, it's got to be free. Oh, well, fuck that. Anyway, loads of questions to be answered about this, but the question now is, what's in the box? What's in the box? You know, Brad Pitt. Um, so... I'm curious because I was fighting very hard to get you everything you need to make this thing really cool, which means foot switch included and hopefully the tube kit included. We're gonna see. Because with an amp that, that gets delivered with 6L6s, when it also offers circuits that are based on, based on um, Marshall circuits or, 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 or Voxy kind of circuits, th circuit? What's a circuit? then it only makes sense if you actually put EL34s in the power amp, if you actually put EL84s in the power amp, if you want the fat California sound, you need 6L6s in the power amp. It can eat up any kind of tube, but it makes sense if they include it. So I fought very hard for those not to be extra, but to actually be part of how the amp gets delivered. And we're going to see if they deliver that. Now, I like this. Inside the box is a box. So that's cool. I mean, that's uh, it's obviously dual the cardboard, but it, it means it arrives protected. I like it. So here's something I don't like, which I, of course, always bitch about. Now, why does a company that I work with do something that I really don't like? Which is use styrofoam. <sighs> this... I don't necessarily like. I told them that there are ways to do this in cardboard, which is more environmentally friendly. We don't need this non-biodegradable crap, but they don't listen to everything I say. I fought for it, trust me, I tried to fight for it to not have this. I told them, what well, we can do it in cardboard, why can't you? Someone just commented on the Kong amps that I unboxed, that doing it in cardboard only makes sense when you order a lot of uh, pieces, which I don't understand. Apparently that's, the, that's true. But I would say, you know what? Be a forerunner. Invest the money. Show that there's a different way to do it. Someone's got to start. I was hoping that the company I work with does it. They don't. So we have the stupid styrofoam. I can only try to influence. There's a very nice manual. A manual. Cunt. Um, it's actually pretty neat. I let, let let me see if they did the changes that I said they should do. Well, that W should be smaller, but that's okay. Good, 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 good. They did. They fixed it. Ha! They fixed it. Good, 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 good. Yep, 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 yep. Do you know the... Yep, 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 that's from the... Uh, it was on Sesame Street. Some character on Sesame Street. Let's see the tubes when it's, it comes to the tubes. Will be included. Therefore, you can change power tubes according. Hey! They made the changes I suggested. I like it. So, the amp is in here. We're going to look at that in a second. Here you have the accessory kit in an extra box, that is nice. I mean, when you fork over 1600 or 1700, I don't know, something like this, for this amp, um, it's very nice to get this and not just dropped in the box. That is nice. We have a power cable, in this case for Germany. Nice! Joyo, what the fuck are you doing? What are these? Ah, they're switcher cables, which uh, I can already tell you are way too short. Um, no, this is the, what is this? This is the switcher cable. Ah, okay. Okay. I do not have a foot switch for mine. Again, the one I have in the rack is a prototype. Okay, this is nice. What we did on the back, um, you can switch channels. 
You can switch the boost, or actually a low gain mode. It's not a boost, it's reverse. It's like, it's always there, and then for some sounds, it can go into low gain. And you can switch caps. Yes, you can put two different caps on the same head and then switch between caps. So, but we did it in the back so that um, it's not a proprietary foot switch, so that you could actually switch it with any kind of looper switcher, with any kind of switch, and it's two individual inputs. So what we did is we've got one in stereo for two switching functions and one in mono for one switching function, which is nice. And they did the, these, are, these are neat. They're not Neutric, but they're Neutric-ish. So this says channel, and this says cab, a little sticker on it. That's good. Now obviously, how long is this? Leslie, how long is this? Thank you! Um, it's not necessarily long enough. This should be six meters. This looks to be about three. No, 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 stop it, stop it! Um, I'm gonna have to say it again. This is not long enough to uh, now you do it um, to have this in uh, uh, in the front of the stage and actually have this to go in the back of your amp. Uh, it's okay. Well, it's okay. That's something to bitch about. But hey, this is included, and you could of course just get extension cables for that, which you might have to do. So this then is uh, these are speaker cables. I would just, well, I would assume inexpensive ones, but no. They are a little bit thick. I mean, you would pro you would you might want to get a better speaker cable, but hey, it's included. There's a relatively short one, and then because you would have a second speaker next to the amp, not the amp standing on it, they are thinking, and you have a longer one. Not my idea. Very cool, Joyo. And then a power cable. So that accessory bag is already kind of okay. I've, I hadn't seen it at all. And I commend them on including all of that, except that the switch cable should be longer. But again, if you really want to just get an extension cable for it. Now, here's the thing that I really fought for you guys for, which is the vacuum tube dual clones tube extension kit, which is kind of really cool, because, um, look at this, that is nice and safe and wow, okay, way to go fucking Joyo, look at this, so in here are the little safety springs that you put on the EL84s, because when you put them in, you can just put them in, that's fine, but, um, you could also screw in these little, um, springs, which then bend over the EL84s. If you're moving the amp around, it might be a good idea to have them secure. So this comes with it. And here you have, now I'm curious, what brand? Here you have EL84s. Softec. That's not bad. It's not a no-name brand. And here you have EL34s from that's interesting. Those are electroharmonics or electroharmonics. I'm gonna assume. I will assume that it's soft tech, soft tech, electroharmonics, electroharmonics. But you know what? I'm gonna check because who knows? I would assume. I don't. They don't have to be matched for the amp, but of course it should be. Yes. So. That's very interesting that for the 30, for the 84s they picked Softec, but for the 34s they picked Electroharmonics. There's probably some reasoning behind that that I don't know. But now you have 606s preloaded and you can, when you buy the amp, try different power amp tubes very easily. Obviously turn the amp off, pull the power cable, don't be an idiot. So realistic, really, how many amps get you different kinds of tubes in the box? I don't know any. I literally don't know any. 
um, especially an amp that claims I'm so super flexible should have these in it. Many companies will tell you, you can use any kind of tubes, but it's still up to you to buy the tubes, to pick them. You know, are you buying the right ones? I, I don't know because, you know, what do I know? So this is very good. I'm impressed. This is a sexy app. Oh, yes. And it's not super heavy. It's not super heavy, I said. So, here we are. This is, uh, this is neat. You know, it's white Tolex. Don't spill shit on it. It's gonna get dirty, but it's neat. I love the, the cleanliness of it. Uh, Moritz has done an amazing job designing this. I really like it. I like that he, he came up with a sandwich idea, which allowed us to have the front panel really, really open and not too many switches on it. So power and standby is here. Guitar input is on the side with this Strat style jack. Come on, how cool is this? Um, you have a vintage preamp and a modern preamp and a power amp. Channel switching, that's all you have on the front. You have a cut and a presence knob for the power amp. You will, of course, get a lot of demos. We have a beautiful leather strap. It's very, very boutique -y for a non boutique -y price. Um, in the back, what is this? Micro pack. What is this for? I don't know what this is for. Um, there's a warning, which is good. That is very nice. Let's see what the warning says. Switch off the standby switch and the main on-off switch and wait for the tubes are completely... Wait for the tubes... And wait for the tubes are completely cooled down. That's Chinglish, but that's okay. Um, and then you can change the power tubes. Otherwise, you might get a burn. <laughs> you might get a burn. So, you know, they don't send me every single text to check. That one they didn't, but you might get a burn. That's, that's kind of funny. Um, it's very interesting. So, what you can do here with these thumb screws, which you probably want to loosen with a screwdriver in the first time, um, you can take this back panel off and just exchange the tubes. Now, the interesting thing, the 6L6s, they are JJ's. So we got Softec EL84s, Electroharmonics EL34s, and JJ6L6s. They went across the board. Um, power switching right there for uh, international stuff. We have an effects loop with a send level, but it's serial. We have a channel and cap input for the foot switch. Very nicely secured. And four different speaker outs. Um, A and B different ohms depending on the tubes it, it tells you if you're using 84s or 6 v6s this has 16 ohms if you're using 34s or 6 or 6 this has 8 ohms blah 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 depending on the tube uh, configuration which actually tells you in the manual which is kind of nice how many uh, how many watts it has and what the impedance is so depending on uh, 6l6s 34s kd66 kd88 blah blah 58 it's all here um, the amp has between 15 and 25 watts, depending on the tubes. MIDI, you can actually switch the circuits with MIDI. Um, and USB for software updates, firmware updates, which there isn't too much to firmware update, but if it's necessary, USB. Um, it's weird. I mean, I was developed, I was developed in the involvement. I was involved in the development of this, and um, it, still feel, it still feels very exciting to take this out of the box now, as if I'm actually seeing things for the first time. I, don't, I can't explain to you why that is, but now I actually see it like you would experience it, not something comes basically, you know, I, not something I took like the one back there, I took on the plane from China with me, and not a... Uh, a blank chassis that Andrea and Fabrizio, which, by the way, they're the brilliant, freaking brilliant engineers from Clans Labs in Italy that uh, came up with this. They are some of the nicest people you will ever meet and some of the smartest people you will ever need. Neat, meet, 
That's some of the shortest people you will ever meet. <laughs> Leslie and I love them. They, they, you, you guys can come anytime. Um, this is fucking neat. And it does sound phenomenal, which of course you've heard some of it, you've heard, but you, we will get a full demo of this. Um, but you know what? What does my demo tell you? You already know that I like it. You know I'm involved. Does my demo actually tell you a lot? Well, I'm going to warn you about some things that it can and cannot do. I'm going to be honest. Just because I'm involved with the product doesn't mean I'm going to hype it up the wazoo and tell you it's the best thing ever in the world. There's some things that it doesn't do brilliantly. Others, it really does. But I wanted to make sure that there's people that are not involved. So we have one going to Phil McKnight right now. We have one going to Robert Baker. We have one going to Glenn Fricker. These are independent YouTubers that I uh, very much respect. And I want them to tell us what they think. We know Glenn is going to tell us what he thinks. Because <laughs> uh, you can't buy that guy. That rhymes. Oh. So. <laughs> okay, uh, th this does not come with everyone. That's a quattro. That's that... That's a quattro, that's for me. What else is in here? Oh, the wheels. I like it when a speaker comes with wheels. Because, oh, these are actually neat. Because it means, you know, you can wheel it around. Um, now, as for, now, as for the, speaker, uh, the, uh, the speakers, um, Toman has not ordered them. Which means, no, you can't buy them at Toman. The problem with speakers is they're big, they're heavy, and uh, you have options from other brands. Now, personally, just because if I'm buying a Klons from Joyo, I would want the matching cap in terms of color, most certainly. Now, this one has uh, Jensen's in it, which means it'll be amazing for clean sounds, not so good for driven sounds. Um, I have the same cap, but it's got a ding in it. It's got a, it, it, it got broken um, with uh, V30s, which would be a great cap to have. But I think they are 500 something bucks, or they would have to be 500 something bucks in the store, which is for a 212, you know, from a lesser known brand, maybe a little bit much. It's a good cap, it's a very good cap. But again, you might not want to spend that on a Joyo cap, I don't know. Um, also, getting them here is expensive, storing them, the size, okay? So right now, I don't know where you can get the cap, no idea. Uh, we're gonna try to figure out the distribution channels, but don't ask me where can I get it because I can't tell you. Oh, that is extremely neat. <laughs> yes! Leslie knows how much I've been bitching about the handles on the cabs, which were made for tiny little Chinese hands. And they were made out of plastic, which means... Um, okay. Which means right here, this, I could barely get my hand in, and uh, the, the plastic was sharp. It was actually hurting me. Now, if this is the final production model, yes, they freaking listen to me, because this is much bigger. Thank you. <laughs> and um, this is neat with the Joyo inlay in there. It's much bigger. I can get my hand in there and it's metal. So this is plastic, but the part in the middle is metal. So there's no sharp edges on it. Um, this is much better. Way to go, Joyo. It's a very pretty cap with a very nice grill. Look at that. It absolutely beautifully matches with white piping. This is nicely done. And you could, if you wanted to, Yes, you could take the front wheel off, I think, uh, somehow. <laughs> yes, so that's Velcro. If you really wanted to or had to, you can take the front grill off. Why is there black dog hair all over this? That is weird. Leslie, where does the black dog hair come from? And also, you could have this. Actually, this cap is probably worth that money easily. Um, if you unscrew this, you can have it as a uh, half open back. 
and you can run it in stereo. So you could run it in stereo as well. Um, so see here. Um, so if I clean this up, <laughs> and in the with the cap, that is very unusual. With the cap, they also supply speaker cables, which again, that's no one does that. I don't think it's necessary. Whoa, I hit it. Um, I don't think that's necessary. But let me clean up a bit here. Come on, how neat does that shit look right there? Isn't that neat? And of course, I'm gonna have to show you that. I know, don't turn it on without a load. I'm not stupid. Um, so there we go. This lights up. And we have nice, we have nice LEDs. Relatively subtle, illuminating this right there, so that on stage you wouldn't have to d dig around and see what the labels are. It's enough of an LED to read the labels, but not so much that it's gimmicky. <sighs> a year and a half of my life, well, a lot of chatting online and emails and flying to China. And here it is, the Dual Clones Multipath, Bilu Dallas Multipath Amplifier. Um, this is the world's first and only, I think, multi-path amp where I can take an app and I can switch it to have tons of different circuits that are built in based on classic amps. Um, review is coming. I'm going to have to take pictures and all that stuff for the website, blah, blah, blah. I've got my work cut out for me. I also have a lot of amps that I'm doing right now, a kind of a series for that you can guess, but you don't know exactly. Um, and I guess I clean up now. Thanks, Joyo. Thanks, Andrea. Thanks, Fabrizio. It's been a ride. It is here now. You guys can check it out. You guys, guys can order it. I know Toman has a very limited amount coming to them. Uh, get your order in while you can. I, I tell you, I know it's, it's not a lot of them. And, um, anyone, literally anyone who's played this, their jaw drops. I mean, I had people from good amp companies, I and mean, we're talking good amp companies, I'm not saying who, uh, in Frankfurt who played this, and they were like, holy shit. Toro from TC was at the at the booth, played my signature guitar with this, and he was like, yeah. So many people tried this, and they were all impressed. I have not had anyone who said, oh, no, no this, is, this is crap. Not a single person. So I'm curious to see what you think. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Leslie, and uh, bye. Standing at the crossroads, asking for the path. I don't believe in Jesus, nor in higher math. I try to close my eyes and rely on what I see. The world in black and white is not enough for me. I gotta get up. I don't know what I'm doing here I'm fed up, it's time for me to disappear I'm under stress, I depress my family I'm in regress and there is no remedy Oh, I'm losing touch with reality This kind of duality It's too much for my mind and any kind of psychotherapy I'm taking off for